Gemini, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, this is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirits' message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you have not yet, check him out. He's over at 70 Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Now let's dive right in because we see here that the energy as it sits is that you have quite a lot of amazing things that are going on around you right now. A lot of new ideas, a lot of opportunities, and we see here that there may be um, a, um, a, uh, a common or reoccurring theme of maybe Mm, falling into maybe workaholic tendencies or feeling like you need to have or be working all the time or connected to what you're doing all the time in order to make these in order to make it a reality in order to have it come to fruition but the difficulty with this is that when we work tirelessly and intentionally and we don't feel inspired to do what we are doing to bring our manifestations or creations to life, then the energy that we're putting into our creations isn't strong enough because it's coming from a place of lack, if you will, as opposed to a place of inspiration. See, you know the feeling, Gem, when you are so inspired, you're in a flow state, you're just feeling so good to do what you're doing, like nothing can get in between you and what you're doing and what you're creating, because you just feel so good. You're not distracted by the outside world. You're not distracted by anything. You're in a flow state. See, that's the energy that it takes to that when you're in that state, that's how you know that that's exactly what you're meant to be doing. But when we are disconnected from uh, that creative, artistic, flowy, intuitive, guided energy, then what happens is we end up feeling confused almost or overwhelmed with things that are showing up, with opportunities, with our ideas. We don't know which way to turn, says that Seven of Cups, because there's so many opportunities around us. It's like we don't really know. We're not really grounded in our truth. Does that make sense? We're not really grounded in the right path or what the right priority is or what the right focus is in that moment, right? And then we end up, again, unaligning from that inner guidance because we feel this sense of void or lack or uncertainty. And then we try to fix that feeling and we try to fix that feeling by overthinking but when we overthink of course we are not present in the moment when we are not present in the moment then of course we are not guided and when we are not guided we feel like we are lost and we are making all the wrong decisions and then from that place of lost we of course goes back to that feeling of void and the story continues we're running around on this hamster wheel of life going 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 and getting nowhere so the universe will always give you signs and and will always point you in the right direction and give you the right uh, um give you the right information to allow your journey to continuously move forward. But in order for us to be aware of what that is, and in order for us to be able to see it, we have to be attuned to our inner guidance and our inner knowing. Because we can see here that where you are currently in your life, this is not where you're going to end. And when you are attuned and connected to that authentic inner guided voice of yours, when you're connected to who you really are, Jim, then the universe is able to guide you to what comes next. And we can see here that there's a what's next for you. And we can see here that that what's next is very abundant for you. And it's gonna also come with this feeling of, okay, so like, the universe is always getting us ready to be ready to be ready. So where you are right now is not where you're gonna finish off. If you're not feeling like really inspired by what you're doing, you're kind of again feeling like you need to do it in order for it to get you some type of validation or for you to for it to fill this void. Know that where you are right now isn't where you're going to be for a long time, okay? So that's why the universe is saying detach from the attachment, detach from the outcome. Because very soon here, you're going to be guided into something else, right? So you're just here where you are currently, wherever you are in this game of life, whatever career you're in, whatever you're building, whatever, you, whatever it is, right? You're going to quickly be expanding to something else very soon. So let go of this feeling like you've got to make this happen or like this needs to go your way, anything, just an attachment to, to uh, connected to the attachment, detach from it entirely because you are going to be guided into a different path or down a different path, one that is much easier for you to stay focused on because it is something that you feel much more aligned with. Okay, so again, going through the process of transformation isn't always an easy one and it doesn't always feel 
great for us because again, think of, you know, a, a, a caterpillar and, you know, morphing into a, a, a butterfly. I can imagine that's not a peaceful process. Maybe it is. I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a caterpillar. I cannot speak from experience on that one. However, I can only imagine the transformational process, right? So this is the same as you are going through. So it's not easy, but you've got to look at it as simply just everything is a, a, a means of collecting data. You're just collecting data for your life to recognize this feels good. This doesn't feel good. If I attach to what doesn't feel good, I'm no, I'm no longer going to see what does feel good because I'm focused on what doesn't feel good. So don't get caught up in what doesn't feel good. Really set your priority and your focus to what does feel good. Where do you, when do you feel your best? What are you doing? What are you thinking about? What do you, what do you love? What do you enjoy doing? Attune your energy to that. And don't forget to make sure that you are checking in with yourself, right? Because the universe is saying that there's going to be a process of this transformation where you're going to second guess yourself with that seven of pentacles in reverse. You'll ask yourself, you'll second guess with yourself. Is this the right path? Am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? Did I make the right choice, right? You're going to be having these, this, these, this, this, this doubt with yourself. But if you're attuned to your inner guidance, then you're going to be attuned to the inner will as well, because you're going to have your why. When you're attuned to your inner guidance, your inner guidance is going to say, yes, it's challenging, but it's going to be worth it, Gem. So keep going. You know you got this. That's going to be your inner guidance's voice. And then you're going to have that will come through and say, yes, I got this. I know this is where I'm supposed to be. I know it's my truth, right? And then you'll, 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 you'll feel that. But again, when you create from that place of inner guidance, inner knowing your truth, then everything feels okay. Um, but if we become too much focused on things that are going wrong in our lives, or we're listening to the opinions of others, or we're trying to approve the, the approval or needs of others, then we are not going to be creating our life from what we d desire or from what we want. We're going to be creating our life from, again, meeting the approval of others. And it just won't be satisfying enough. There, that why won't be strong enough. You'll go for a little bit and then you'll you'll fall back into old familiar patterns, you see, or, or whatever other tendencies there may be. So the universe is suggesting it might be time to clear your energy and particularly maybe around somebody in your life. If somebody in your life, you've been holding on to some form of frustration or negative energy or anything, you might want to disconnect from that or at least be aware of it. You know what? I've been thinking really negatively about this person. I've been, this person's been on my mind. You got to tune in and ask yourself why, why let anything disrupt or disturb you from being present with your own personal expansion. It's just never worth it. And we can see here that there is somebody in your life, perhaps somebody special, or perhaps the lack of somebody special that has been taking over your awareness. So maybe there you went through a breakup recently and that you can't get them off your mind. Maybe there's somebody in your life and you just feel like the, maybe you feel like they're holding you back from creating and being the best version of yourself. Either way, whatever's going on, the perspective that you're experiencing around this particular being is keeping you stuck. Okay. Cause what, again, whatever we focus on, we get, but if we're focusing on something negative, we're focusing on this, this person's doing this, or this person's doing that, or I don't have this person. If we're just thinking about anything that doesn't, that takes us out of us being present and recognizing what we need to do for us to be the best versions of ourselves, that's what you need to pinpoint and you need to undo it. You need to let go of that in order to let go of that. You have to catch your negative thoughts and you have to spin them into net into positive. I'm grateful that I experienced this moment with this being. I see that this is not good for me to hold on to. I choose to let this go. I lovingly choose to let this person go. I wish them nothing but love. I must focus on my own journey. Whatever words that resonate for you, but do know that this will be the, the wrench, okay? The wrench in the mm, socket, the wrench in the gear, whatever. It'll be the resistance in your life, right? Is focusing on this particular uh, person or what have you, okay? Now, remember that, in order for us to thrive here as empaths, we have to have a healthy balance of being um, connected to the other side as well as rooted and grounded here on planet Earth. Running energy through your chakras is very important, going through all of the chakras, right? And if we are not feeling grounded, if we are not feeling safe, if we are not, if we're feeling like we're in survival mode, that is going to unroot us and unground us. And that's going to connect us too much to the non-physical. And we are not going to feel like we're able to take action here. So we're not going to be able to take our beautiful ideas that we have, our inspiration we have, and actually apply them into the physical unless we are rooted and grounded. And that really does come from tuning into what our inner voice is saying. And that does come from clearing energy out of our life where our focus has been. And it does come from making sure we are prioritizing tuning into our own knowing and this is going to segue into your angel message of ground yourself 
And your angels say, when you detach from awareness of your body and the physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it's pleasant to float heavenward, your attention and work are needed upon the earth. We're helping you balance the spiritual and material so that you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life. So again, sometimes when we are not um, doing what is best for us, and what that really means is again, tuning into what our energy is asking of us in that present moment, then we are going to be in either one side or the other. We're either going to be too connected to the physical, which is uh, really identifying with our bodies, really um, disliking who we are because we're attaching too much to our experiences here, our parents, where we come from, where we grew up. We're going to be so connected to that. We're going to be like, oh, I don't believe in myself because this is where I'm from. Like we just, you know, but, and if we're too connected to the non-physical, we're going to think, well, here I am, you know, uh, we're, we're kind of going to be floating, if you will. We're not really going to have enough uh, ability to actually apply the information we're getting, the inspiration, the guidance we're getting into physical form, right? It's going to be difficult for us to move that energy. So we want a nice healthy balance of both. And the first start is to recognize when something is taking you out of the, your present moment awareness. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.